If you're tired of not having an organized or clean home, you may be tempted to spend money on new products or furniture. But before you do, you may want to consider some DIY solutions. Do-it-yourself life hacks can often be done with things you already own. That means you'll save money while improving your home. To get you started, we've got some great home life hacks to share with you. Factsverse presents 12 home life hacks that will change your life. If you're excited to put these life hacks to the test, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Number one, ice and candle wax. Have you ever accidentally spilled candle wax on your furniture? Whether you were using candles for romance or celebration, spilling wax can put a damper on things. But don't worry, your furniture isn't ruined. If it didn't soak in, these can easily be removed. Just grab yourself an ice cube to harden the wax enough so that it can be pulled off in one piece. It might take some time to get all the drips, but this method works great if you get to it right away. The ice makes the wax especially brittle, so it comes out of fabric without much fuss. If it did soak in, you can always go to our next tip. Number two, ironing candle wax. Maybe you spilled candle wax and didn't notice right away. No worries, since even soaked in wax has a way of being completely removed. For this, you'll need an iron that you use for your clothes. You'll also need an ordinary paper bag. Set the iron temperature to medium, but be careful not to burn yourself. Now you can take a paper bag and put it right on that waxy spot. You'll use the iron to melt the wax into the paper. The paper acts like a sponge, sucking up all that drippy mess. The more you go over the spot, the more wax is drawn into the paper. Once you iron a section, use more fresh paper to finish up the job. By the time you're done, the wax will be totally removed and your carpet is saved. Phew! Number 3. Salad Tongs Cleaning dusty window blinds is never an easy job, but this easy hack will make your blinds clean in no time. For this, you'll need decent salad tongs that have handles like scissors. You'll also need paper towels and window cleaner spray. Just grab your salad tongs and wrap a paper towel around each spoon section. Now you use some window cleaner sprayed onto each side between the towels. Grab the window blind section that needs cleaning and squeeze it so each blade of the blind is touching firmly. Now all you do is run back and forth or up and down. If you have vertical blinds, you'll need a chair or stepladder, so be careful. Your blinds will be clean on both sides. Do this on each blade until all the blades are nice and clean. Click the like button if you're going to try this with your serving tongs. Number 4. Baby Wipes After a while, your stove top will get greasy and covered with gunk. It's a job that nobody wants to do, but here's a way to do it without scrubbing forever. You can use ordinary baby wipes that help remove that dried up slop. There's just enough moisture in the wipe to make oil and dry food scrub off quickly. They get filled up with mucky oil real quick, so you might need a fair amount of wipes. There's no need to wash it out, just toss your used wipes away. It won't scratch your stove either like a metal scrubber sponge will. This means no more gritty cleaners or smelly spray-on removers. Bet you never thought baby wipes were good for cleaning. Number 5. Alka-Seltzer Nobody likes scrubbing caked on pots in the kitchen, but don't get a headache over it. Ordinary Alka-Seltzer tablets work wonders on dirty pots and pans. Cleaning dried on foods that are stuck to pots and pans is a cinch for these hard gritty tablets. Just use a damp sponge with a single tablet underneath and start rubbing away at that grungy surface. Just be sure that you rinse the inside of the pot first before you start, so dried food comes off easier. As you scrub the inside, the tablet will slowly sand away leftover food without leaving a scratch. Number 6. Cooking Oil If you want to save those leftover pickle jars but don't want the label still attached, there's an easy way to get the label off. A bit of ordinary water can remove the label, but that won't remove the glue that keeps it stuck to the jar. Sticky glue slides off easier with a little bit of cooking oil, and you can use your thumbnail to scratch off the rest. Once the label and the glue is a pulpy mess, you take a soapy sponge to wash off anything that's left over. Now you can save that jar to put anything else you want stored inside. These jars can be good for saving nearly anything with a nifty lid to keep it covered. Or you can use them to store odds and ends for another DIY project. If you're fixing up your home, these jars make the perfect container to store leftover paint. Let us know what you use these jars for in the comments. Number 7. Soap Pump How many times did you need to wash your hands and the soap pump was already empty? Well, here's a way to stretch your dollar and make your soap last a lot longer. Take an ordinary rubber band and tie it around the bottom portion of the pump shaft. This will limit the pump from going all the way down so that only half the soap comes out. Every time you push down, you'll still get a decent amount of soap without having to push twice. You'll be amazed how much more soap will last. You and your family can enjoy plenty of soap from this dispenser while keeping germs away at half the cost. Number 8. Wipe Containers Many cleaning and hygienic wipes come in a plastic pop-top tube. 
don't throw them out with the plastic recyclables just yet, since they can have a whole new purpose in your kitchen. After they're empty, wash and dry the leftover canister. Now you take any roll of garbage bags and pop them into the container. Run the first bag through the dispenser pop-top opening. Each time you need a bag, you can pull out one at a time, and then store the rest standing upright in your cabinet. But that's not the only place you can use this, since it can go in every room that has a garbage bin or basket. Take it along with you for those days when that weekend picnic is happening. The convenient travel size lets you take it anywhere a garbage bag is needed the most. Number 9. Trash Can The kitchen garbage is full again, and you know it never comes out easy. Well, this is because the suction at the bottom of your garbage bin won't let the bag out so easily. You can solve this by drilling a small hole at the bottom. This hole will release the suction pressure at the bottom of the trash can. When it's time to take out the trash, your garbage bag slips out without tearing, and you don't have to deal with a messy floor. We know this home life hack is going to change your life. Hit the like button if you agree. Number 10. Leaking garbage. Sometimes your trash is really full, and it leaks into your trash can. What's worse is that all the liquid sits at the bottom and has to be washed out. Well, here's another great idea to keep leaky bags from ruining your day. Put some newspaper on the bottom to catch that drippy spot. Don't throw out last week's paper just yet. Put it to good use instead. Just line the bottom of the garbage bin so that any excess liquid gets absorbed. Simply put that used newspaper in the garbage bag when you take it out. Number 11. Pots and Pans Lids Kitchen drawers are terrible places to store lids. How about turning an old magazine rack into handy storage? It fits all your pot lids neatly where you can reach them. And there's enough space to fit other odd-fitting items too. Take a magazine rack and secure it to your wall with screws. The deep pockets used for magazines are the perfect place to keep all sorts of oddly shaped lids that usually take up space in your cabinets. When you need a lid, presto, you'll find the right one every time. If you don't like them rattling around, you can always use some self-stick decorative wallpaper put over the rack itself. The inside cushion will keep them from making sounds in case you decide to cook something as a late night snack. The best part is you can also put freshly washed and dried lids directly into their new home right away. Number 12. LED Lights How many times did you wonder if you put too much seasoning in your food? Well, you don't need your glasses now that LED lights are all the rage. You can brighten up any countertop by sticking some battery-powered LED lights under the cabinets. You'll get a whole new look that makes your kitchen modern and trendy. Use some double-stick tape attached to Velcro and stick on each light. With a single push of a button, you can have instant light in your cooking area. This will come in handy when it's time for those holiday meals where so much food needs to be prepared. Never get left in the dark again with this kitchen quick fix. We hope these tips helped you organize and clean your home in new ways. Which of these home life hacks did you like the best? Tell us in the comments if you prefer the cleaning hacks or the organizing hacks. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to Factsverse for more great videos.